wow, my studio is such a mess right now. And uh, as much as I cannot look at it, you guys are gonna have to just ignore the mess behind me because I know it's crazy. It's been a really hectic week, but we're gonna talk about the OCT5 today and why I decided to use the OCT5 as my daily driver for video monitoring on all my cameras. Aside from being able to load 3D LUTs directly into the monitor through this SD port on the side, I found that everything about it, the colors, the brightness, the sharpness, and the focus peaking algorithm have just been by far the best that I've ever used. The only monitor I like more than the T5 is the big brother to it, the T7, which is a high brightness monitor by OC as well. They both have outstanding battery life, uh, but because this is a peak brightness of about 450 nits, the OCT5 actually can run on a smaller battery like this MPF style battery here, uh, which is kind of the medium size MPF style battery. I probably get four to five hours to a single charge. And if you're shutting off between recording times during a shoot, you can easily go for 12 hours on one of these bigger batteries. I'm quite pleased with battery life. The other thing that I really enjoy about the OC monitors is the joystick navigation. It can be a little bit finicky from time to time because it's just not an interface that we're used to using on pretty much any other device, but it does make it really fast to switch between different cameras that you might use it with. So if I have a Panasonic Vlog LUT on one page and a Zcam LUT on the other page, I can just click between them really fast in different scenes. I'm not gonna go deep into the way that we use the scenes on these monitors because Scott Dumas did a really great video on all of that and I'm just gonna leave a link to that in the bio. The short and sweet of this monitor is that for around $200 US, you're getting something that you used to never be able to get at that price point in the professional camera market. This has more accurate colors than almost any other monitor I've ever used. It pairs so nicely with its big brother, the OCT7 and I feel comfortable taking it anywhere. It's super light, it's lighter than any other monitor that I've used. One of the best features about OC monitors is they actually have auto rotation built into them. So if you flip the screen over, the image is gonna automatically flip with you, which is just an insanely useful feature to have. You know, it might not come in handy every single day, but when you really do need it to be there, it's great to know that it's just built in and by default on in the settings when you turn on the monitor for the first time. Anyways guys, that's all for me today. I hope that you enjoy this video and that you see some great value in these OC monitors. I've fully switched to using them on all my cameras. I've been using the T7 and the T5 for respectively almost a year and six months. OC was kind enough to send me this monitor for review, so I'm happy to share my thoughts on that. My thoughts are my own, however, and OC doesn't pay me anything to say anything about these monitors. I'm not an affiliate. I just wanna help people find good tools for filmmaking.